So Eleanor has found an accession tag that should tell us which species this is. Yes. We want to split that in half so that we can see the anthers and the filaments and the carpillary appendages and the stigmatic surface. That it's important to put some information on this newspaper. That is the name of the collector, date collected, an accession number if you have one, the location of where it was collected, and this was collected in the Monet garden, or the Monet pool, and you need the name of the water lily. And this one is Tropic Sunset. I like to indicate if it's a hardy or a tropical, and this was a tropical. And so, open the newspaper, and now I'm going to split this water line. Now, we've completed separating the two parts. The fluid that was on the stigmatic surface and this surface tends to be sticky. So I put this little piece of art paper over that spot so that the newspaper will not stick to that. And this can be easily removed. And I'm going to lay it in the, the newspaper. And they're both very nice. And I, I like to have a, a little bit of a curve in the stem. Sometimes the water lily will do as it pleases. I like to do that. And I'll put only one in at a time. This one goes in this sheet, fold it over, and I need a blot or paper underneath. And a blot or paper on top to 
to absorb the liquids. And another cardboard on top of that. And this is put in the press. The first part of the flour is ready to put in the dryer. At this point in the process of making an herbarium specimen, the plant has already been pressed and dried in the dryer and removed from between the pressing sheets. At this time, we will adhere some glue to the reverse side of the specimen before it's being placed on the sheet. It's important to show the parts of the specimen which are important for identification purposes or uh, whatever someone who is studying the plant might be looking for. Okay. The materials that are needed to uh, apply the specimen to a barium sheet are cardboard. Uh, you also need to retain the newspaper drying sheets with information on them. And then you need to have the herbarium sheet itself to which the specimen is applied. We use a white glue uh, to uh, adhere to the specimen. And also, we have lead weights, which we use to hold the specimen in place while the glue is drying. Then, if you're doing several specimens at a time, we place wooden blocks between the specimens so that they do not touch each other uh, in the drying process before you put another um, sheet on top. 